<laughs> okay, this is like my third time trying to get this done. <laughs> okay, so this is the number on, this is what I have. I'm trying to put, I have the phone on a little tripod type thing. But it's the Avery Labels, which is the one inch stickers. And the reference number for the template is 6450. So, and I just got those off of Amazon, but you can get them at Office Depot, local office supply. Okay, so earlier my computer was not being very, very friendly. So we'll see how it goes. super so okay so I'm gonna type in Avery that's all I type in and the one that I look for is the one that has just Avery.com um, let me see okay so this one right here it says just Avery.com that's the one that I'm looking for And then, if you don't have an account, it's beneficial to get one because you're probably going to make, I've made so many labels, address labels, these labels. Um, So now I'm signed in. So you go under templates and then you can either do find a template or Avery design and print. I think either one of those will take you to the same place. But we want to type in the 6450 and then start designing. It's like 1130 and my kids still haven't settled down yet to do this video. That's okay. So when you do that, I'm going to make this small. So I'm going to, I just use my sensor uh, mouse down here and I squeeze my finger just like you would like the iPhone. And it, it decreases your screen so you can see more. So I just picked, they have so many designs. Like this will keep going right here. See my computer's being slow because it knows I'm trying to do something. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, so all of these are just templates. So once you pick it, you can adjust it, fix it, decrease things, increase things, use different type of text, all kinds of things. So this one is the one I used for clothesline. Okay, so over here on the side, it says edit all or edit one. So if you pick edit one, it's only going to, um, whatever adjustments you make on this is only gonna be on that first one. If you do edit all, the whole sheet is gonna have those adjustments. So what I do, see how big it is? All you have to do is, thank you. I'm trying to get on this side of the E. There we go. I highlight that. Then I go over here and I'll decrease the size of it. Okay. 
and then you can even stretch it out a little bit and this just tells you about the borders if you get too far out the border so I'm gonna grab this move it over it's yelling at me with all the red marks see no red marks clothesline so now all of these are going to have clothesline so now that that's done i want to preview and print see here's the preview it has all of them the same whenever it says on there print yourself there's going to be automatically they're going to tell you um get pdf to print it's going to tell you that you need to save it so i always save it so whenever you save it right here you're going to label it and it actually saves it in your avery account so whenever you log back into avery you'll have this uh this template already done so next time you would just have to push print and that's it so save to your account project is saved open pdf and what I personally do is once I have this on my PDF, I go up here and I'll push download and I also save it into my um, Sensi file that I have on my desktop, which I already have this one already saved. So I'm not gonna save this one again. Okay, so you have this. Hopefully my printer will work for me because it wasn't working the other day when I was trying to do my my stamps I was trying to print some stamps so you have your your blank paper here and then your printer will show you how to place your paper um, what I usually do is I'll put a blank piece of paper in it with the arrow and then I'll print from that and then I will know exactly where I need to place it next time because if you just print it out you don't know which direction it was in you don't know what side it was in so I will just do a blank piece of paper and I put an arrow with the pencil whatever put it in the printer push print and see how it comes out and after that you'll know how to put your uh your stickers so i'm just going to go put this in real quick and we'll see if the printer gods will let me print like i said my printer has not been very good to me lately so we'll see um, and then up here where the option is, I'll push print. This is the printer. I do not want black and white. I want color. And cross my fingers. There was a job that I tried to do the other day and it was not going to it. So I think it might work today. I don't know. Anyway, if your printer works, that's how you would do it. Oh, I hear it. Hold on one second. That's, it's, that's all it was. Like I said, there's so many different templates that are, um, yeah, templates that you can pick, choose from when you do them. So whenever I did mine, whatever label that I was doing, I tried to just kind of match it up to that. Like that was Mystery Man. I kind of matched the color a little bit. This one's sheer leather. And then, of course, the pineapple and fuego. Fiesta lime. That one just had, a, like, some fruit on it. So that's all I did. I just kind of, I mean, you can do the basic ones. They have some that's just color. You can, just, you can do whatever you want. Whatever fits, you know, whatever fits you. But, anyway, that's how I did the labels. Um, if you have any other questions or any other um 
uh, troubleshooting that you I might can help you with, just let me know and message me and I will see what I can do. All right, have a good night. Okay.